guys. Well, it's been a while since I did one of these face-to-face -face things, um, mainly because I kind of ran out of ideas what to talk about in terms of Gario and Gario. Um, you see, it, it kind of came down to, as of late, as uh, talking about this new magazine or this new magazine, and I thought it would it became um, a little bit old. And uh, of course, I also had still had the footage of uh, my trip, so I wanted to get that out first too. But uh, while I was on vacation uh, back in the country in, last week, I got a question from a viewer, uh, which in the beginning I didn't really understand. He, uh, I think he mailed me earlier uh, with the same question, which was, uh, how do Gyario dance? And I looked at the question and I was not sure what he meant. That was pretty much the only thing he wrote. That was, how do Gyario dance? And I, didn't, I was like, well, they move. You know? <laughs> they don't stand still. And then he uh, uh, asked a, a question on one of my videos where he was like, could you uh, explain how, how they dance, how it is in, for example, Club Adam? And I thought, oh, maybe he means how is the dance scene here in Tokyo when you go to clubs? Because believe it or not, it is actually very different from what we know in the West. I talked to, the, uh, to this about uh, with Japanese people, with uh, other Asian people. Uh, from other Asian countries uh, and um, with Europeans and all of them pretty much agree that indeed the dance scene here is different but let me give you a few examples and let me talk about how indeed Gario and Gario uh, kind of behave into the clubs uh, if you go to a club let's say in the West um, chances are high um, you will have an area where you can sit, where you can lounge, where you can relax, um, and you have a dance uh, dance area. And on the dance area, uh, if couples are dancing with each other, ninety percent of the time they're grinding. Uh, you know, they're doing that grinding dance. So girl in front, um, boy behind, each of them facing the same direction. Uh, Though, of course, in the younger generation, they also tend to, to uh, look at each other. But anyway, um, it's, it's that grinding or couples that are uh, grinding and making out. And that also goes for the lounge area. Uh, basically, in Holland, if you go to a club, there's a lot of making out going on uh, in the club. I mean, it's dark, there's a lot of noise, you're drunk, you're in the mood. So a lot of that fumbling uh, is going on. Uh, here, in Japan, it is quite different. You go to a club, and this, for example, counts for both uh, Club Asia, Club Atom, Club Camelot. You also have that uh, lounge area uh, where everybody sits, where usually also the girls only seats are. So that's where uh, only girls are allowed. If you're a guy and you sit there, uh, in no time a bodyguard uh, will come up and um, ask you to leave. We had that uh, multiple times already. Uh, even when I, for example, met a girl and she was like, hey, come sit with me. I'm like, well, that's the girl only seats. I mean, I'll be asked to leave. Sure, she said, no, no, she won't. And what do you know, five minutes later, this big black guy comes up and asks you know, ask me to leave and stuff. So they're pretty strict on that. Um, and you, of course, have half the, the dance area and... Um, Dance area is very, uh, very crowded, uh, especially of course on Saturday, on Friday. Um, but because it's so crowded, you cannot really dance. The only dance that you can really do is go from left to right. You know, maybe put your hands up. Uh, not really all these these nice uh, dance moves that you can do. If you are able to dance, my advice, and you want to show it off, like if you can really dance, and you want to show it off. My advice: do not go to a club on Friday or Saturday. Now, there are the most people there, so if you want to go there and you want to show your dance moves off to get a girl or a guy, um, well, you can, you, can, you, can, you can still do that, but don't expect that you, can, you, you have the space to, to dance. Another good thing about, for example, Atom is that it has multiple floors. So it has a hip-hop floor, a psychedelic trance floor, and the main floor. And my experience is that the psychedelic trance uh, floor and the hip-hop floor are less crowded, though I've also had nights where the hip-hop floor was incredibly crowded. So, 
pretty much the only thing you can really do is go from left to right, and that's pretty much what all the Japanese do. Um, most Japanese people in the clubs, and I think it it, it, it goes for, for all people in, in the world, uh, don't really know how to dance. I don't know how to dance. I know how to follow the rhythm though, I know how to keep the keep the beat going, so that's good. But I'm also, you know, I'm, I'm also going from left to right, and because I'm so tall, I'm, I'm 190, uh, what I like to do is, is, you know, is raise my hands, and with the lasers are going around, I, I like to go through them with my hands to kind of show off that I'm, that I'm so tall, I kind of like that. But, for example, uh... Uh, a Swiss classmate of mine, he he likes to to you know go go low 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 and then back up, and another one likes to do something with his hands. Everybody needs their own style. I mean, don't don't be worried about uh, you know what to do uh, with the dancing. And I was thinking about what he meant maybe with you know Gario, uh Does he mean para para? You know, do you need to dance para para if you're going to a club? Uh, the answer to that is no. Para para is dead. I don't care if people say there are still contests going on or there are still CDs going on, Para Para is dead. We have in Holland, we have um, this subculture called Hubber, which is like bald guys using ecstasy and training, uh, training suit on, and there are probably still people um, that do that, but they're dead. Even, it's, it's, it's the same with Yamamba, you probably still have girls that do the Yamamba and you will occasionally maybe see one, but the percentage is so small and information, current information on that, it can be not found that um, it's pretty much declared dead. And the only time that I've seen a Gario do para para is when I was in a host club and it was requested by a customer. And in terms with Gyaru and para para, the only experience that I had was a girl in Osaka that said that she liked doing para para and she was a high school student. She was like 15 or 16. So if you're worried about that, don't be. Uh, Gyario do not dance on a uh, particular way. In fact, if you go to a club and you look at the Gyario, they usually are not on the dance floor. The reason why, Gyario of course, go there because they want girls. That's the main reason why most people go to club, right? They want girls or they want guys, if you're a girl. So what they are doing is they usually hang around in the lounge area. That is especially goes for Atom because Atom actually does have a quite a few seats uh, in the lounge area where he can sit and that is those are usually occupied by Gyaru and you can always see uh, a few Gyaru uh, around there trying to pick up uh, some girls. The reason why they are probably not on the dance floor is because obviously uh, the music is so loud so um, it is harder to pick up a uh, a, a, a girl in Japan, especially because I was talking about that whole grinding thing in the beginning, right? And that is not the case in, in Japan. Uh, grinding, dancing, uh, grinding style is not a common thing in Japan. You will not see it often. Um, and a couple making out, maybe one or two. They are always there, like, it's not like, like, like there's no one making out on that store, but it's very, very few. Where in Holland you would have like 10, 12, 15 couples on the dance floor making out here, you have maybe have you know two or three. Um, so uh, of course, so what would happen if you would, for example, you know, get a girl is you would make eye contact, you notice she likes you, you like her, you go dance near each other. Um, you can still grind, and that I that I say that that grinding is not common. Don't worry, Japanese girls are you know they. They, they want to try it out. And they want to dance with you. But dancing with you in Japan sometimes is considered different. It's just dancing next to each other, dancing in front of each other, and not necessarily touching each other. But um, uh, if the girl likes you, it's not a problem. And I've seen uh, many uh, you know, foreigners uh, try to go up to a Japanese girl and then ended up grinding uh, with a girl. If the girl's interested, it's, there's no worry. And she's uh, willing to try it out. Uh, though I do have to say that, like, the the other day I, I met this, this girl from America, and you can see, though, that the style is completely different, where um, a Japanese girl would, you, you kind of have to take uh, the reins, right? Uh, you want to show her how they dance in the West, blah, blah, blah. The, with the American girl, she really took control, and she went down, and she did all the movements with her ass and stuff. And that reminded me of how, indeed, more dominant the Western girls are compared to Japanese girls. Um, 
But because of that, the only eye contact, dancing, and then making out maybe, uh, or going to a hotel or something, there's not really much contact, much talking going on. So if that's your thing, then, um, for example, with Gyaru, right, uh, they probably want to be, uh, you know, having contact with the Gyaru, want to pick a nice one, chat them up, and then take them somewhere. Uh, that's the reason why they usually are in, um, in the lounge area. Because in fact, if you go to the dance floor, not every girl there is interested in finding a guy, or every uh, guy is find, interested in finding a girl. So the chances of a guy wanting a girl are much higher. So um, you, you, usually, is, is the reason if you if you if you get together with a girl there is that you dance, you make out, and then you leave the club, and then you ask, so what's your name? And because of that, because uh, you know, uh, Gyaryo are usually more of the smooth talkers. They usually are uh, in the lounge areas. And if you are worried about that whole dancing. To get up, to get girls, I would say your chances are higher of getting, uh, of going to a bar, chat, you know, chat them up, uh, see if they're interested in you, and doing, um, doing that. Um, but like I said, if you uh, can dance very well, uh, I would uh, suggest going on a normal weekday, or if you're into hip hop, go to hip hop club because all the things I just said about grinding, making out. Well, not that not common in uh, Japanese uh, clubs does not count for hip hop clubs. I've been to a club a couple of years ago called Harlem. It is not there anymore. It has changed its name. Club Harlem now has moved to next to Adam. It is exact the ne next to Adam. Like you leave Adam, you go to your left, the next door, and that is uh, Club Harlem. And because, of course, you know, grinding, uh, also a little bit of reggaeton, stuff like that, is kind of embedded in the, the hip-hop culture, the Japanese girls there also will do that. Like I said, I've been to a Club Harlem a couple of years ago, and there was this Japanese girl with all, like, the... the she had, like, uh, not, not the dress, but yeah, it's like corn, corn rows. And uh, she, she showed me all kind of moves that, that like, even Western girls haven't, haven't shown me yet, and... Um, if, uh, if that's your thing, if you say you're very good at dancing and hip-hop is your thing, go there and you will have no problem uh, with the dancing scene there. And in terms of very big clubs like Ageha, which I did a video about, which is the biggest club in Tokyo, maybe all in Japan, I forgot. Um, forget it if you want to show off your dance moves. It is so crowded over there. It is the same as going to um, one of those dance festivals, right? Well, Sensation or something, where it's so crowded that the only thing you can really do is... <clears throat> Move left to right, throw your hands up, <coughs> do stuff like that. That's <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that. So yeah, I um, that's pretty much what I said. And and like I said, people, especially Western people, are amazed by how um, how uh, how not much of is going on on the dance floor in terms of, of couples grinding together or making out together. Um, though, of course, it can also be that the girl... Uh, because in Japan you have this hazukashi thing, right? It is very... It, 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 I've always feeling that in Asian cultures it is way uh, heavier to be ashamed of something than other cultures. I see that in my class as well, where if you, for example, have a question or when the, the sensei asks you something and you answer wrong, that that is incredibly, incredibly shameful, and the girl probably or guy will will not you know voluntarily raise his or her hand again, and it is here as well where like I don't know if if something falls on the train or something like you can see them getting red uh, very quickly, and um, I guess it can also be uh, with within clubs that um, kissing making out in public um, might be a little shameful, but like I said. Uh, if the girl's into you, uh, don't worry. I mean, you you can you can just pick her off uh, off of the dance floor, go to a quiet area, uh, make out there. If, like I said, if she's into you, she'll go with you. And if you are a girl and you're interested in a guy, you'll probably have no problem because Japanese guys will be all over you. Um, if you are a girl and you are into gyaryo, that can be um, a bit of more of a problem. Because the Gary, of course, those those cool guys, you know, they're they're like, oh man, I'm I'm, I'm such a player, so they they don't want to be out of their comfort zone 
and a foreigner is definitely out of their comfort zone. If you're if you're a nice looking foreigner, I'm sure they're they'll be interested in you. But you'll probably have to approach them because they want to keep their cool image. They expect them to be cool as well when you approach them. But if you are uh, you know regular good looking uh, foreigner, uh, I had this uh, Dutch girl that visited. She was blonde, small, thin, and salary men and 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 young guys were all over her within no time and i say salary men you'll be surprised by how many salary men there are in clubs like atom or camelot and it's just you know they also are all done with work and uh they they like beautiful young girls as well so they go to those clubs as well so yeah i uh, i hope this kind of answered this question it's more about like the whole dancing and grinding culture i guess but it is very interesting because it's so different from the west and I uh, hope you guys like this video again. It's been a while since I did this. And um, if you have other questions or things about Gary and Gary O, please ask them because, like I said, I'm kind of out of inspiration for Gary and Gary O with terms to talk about. I'm still very much into Gary and Gary O, but just making videos about specific topics kind of has uh, kind of drained right now. But anyway, that was it, and I will see you guys next time.